Tomo News presents High Speed Trains and the Hyperloop. Hyperloop full test run to take place in Vegas. Hyperloop One is planning to run the world's first full-size Hyperloop test within the next few months. Hyperloop One announced last week that it plans to execute a full test within the next three months at Apex Industrial Park in Las Vegas. According to a company spokesman, the test run will cover 500 linear meters. In May 2016, the company successfully tested its levitating electromagnetic motor on an open-air sled, reaching speeds of 116 miles per hour. The company said it is planning to have a full Hyperloop system ready to transport freight by 2020. The Hyperloop is based on the idea by Elon Musk of levitating pods powered by an electric propulsion system that would travel in near vacuum tubes at speeds of over 700 miles per hour. According to Musk's calculations, a Hyperloop trip from San Francisco to Los Angeles could be made in under 40 minutes. Hyperloop One says that after the full test run, it plans to extend the tube into a few kilometers. Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. Chinese firm aims to build high-speed rail in the U.S. China Railway International USA and Express West have announced plans for a joint venture to build a high-speed railway between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. The 230-mile high-speed railway will connect Las Vegas, Victorville, Palmdale, and Los Angeles. The train would travel at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, meaning passengers could travel from Las Vegas to Los Angeles in one hour and 20 minutes, compared to four hours by car. Express West, a venture set up by Las Vegas-based hotel and casino developer Marnell Companies, was unable to secure investment for the project from within the United States. It has formed a partnership with China Railway International USA, a consortium led by China Railway, which said the project had initial capital of 100 million US dollars. First Hyperloop One system coming to the United Arab Emirates. Hyperloop One has signed an agreement with Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority to build the world's first Hyperloop system. Hyperloop One's system will connect Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Its stations, called hyperportals, will be located in the city centers. Passengers will travel in pods, which come in four different configurations, cargo, coach, meeting, and lounge. The pods will pick up passengers at gates and travel autonomously to an underground level. There, they will be loaded inside a transporter capsule. Each transporter capsule will carry four pods. The capsules will be propelled by compressed air using magnetic levitation which eliminates friction inside a tube kept at a near vacuum to eliminate air resistance. They can travel at a speed of up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. The Hyperloop will reduce what's now a two-hour car trip between Abu Dhabi and Dubai to just 12 minutes. Hyperloop One said passengers inside the pods will not feel any discomfort, despite the extreme speeds. The capsules will stop at the hyper portal upon arrival, while the autonomous pods can either stop at the gates or continue beyond the hyper portal to take passengers to their destinations in the city. Hyperloop One said in a press release that the infrastructure does not have to work with the pods alone. It could also work with other self-driving vehicles. 
Hyperloop 1 successfully conducts first propulsion test. Hyperloop 1, formerly known as Hyperloop Technologies, has successfully conducted the first open air test of the Superfast Trains propulsion system in North Las Vegas, Nevada. The fully automated Hyperloop is propelled by linear induction motors. The compressor at the front of the pod sucks in air, pulling the pod forward. The compressed air is used in the air bearings underneath to levitate the pod. The fully enclosed tunnel allows the pod to travel as fast as 700 miles in an ultra-low pressure environment and is unaffected by weather conditions. Hyperloop One and Hyperloop Transportation, another LA-based startup, are competing to realize Elon Musk's dream of super-fast transportation. The U.S. is set to get its first high-speed railway system in California. Officials are ready to break ground on the United States' first high-speed rail system, which will be constructed in California. The U.S.'s first high-speed railway will be built in California at a cost of 68 billion U.S. dollars. The first leg of the system will be constructed in Fresno, with the eventual goal of having the railway run from San Francisco to Los Angeles. The train will travel at 220 miles per hour, cutting the six-hour drive from northern to southern California in half. An official with the High Speed Rail Authority said that the new railway should help end gridlock traffic on crowded freeways and improve air quality in the area. However, Kathy Omachi from Chinatown Revitalization Incorporated told CBS News that the railway would ruin Fresno's Chinatown, saying the project would block streets and force buildings in the neighborhood to be torn down. Russia's new High Speed Railway will take just two days from Moscow to Beijing. Russia is reported to be building a new high-speed rail line that would take just 48 hours to travel from Moscow to Beijing, replacing the iconic Trans-Siberian Railway, according to reports. Moscow has reportedly awarded the contract for a new Moscow to Beijing high-speed rail line to Chinese company China Railway High Speed. The high-speed rail line looks set to replace the aging 9,000-plus kilometer Trans-Siberian Railway. The new, roughly 7,000-kilometer line will be around three times longer than the current longest existing high-speed railway. According to reports, the eight-day journey time of the old railway would be cut to just two days. Reports said that the new rail line has become a top priority for the two countries. Billionaire philanthropist Elon Musk has hinted at a new high-speed transport system that could put planes and trains out of business. Called the Hyperloop, the new technology would send passengers flying down a tube at 800 miles an hour on a cushion of compressed air. It would cost $6 billion for people-only pods, or $10 billion for larger pods, capable of holding both people and cars. The tube would shoot through an elevated structure, with pods mounted above the ground on columns 50 to 100 yards apart, or through an underground tunnel, powered by solar technology, the transport would be cheaper than conventional transportation methods. Designed to link cities less than 1,000 miles apart, the Hyperloop could cover the distance between Los Angeles and San Francisco in 30 minutes. According to reports, the system could be built within seven years. A planned high-speed rail link for California, scheduled for 2029, is expected to cost $68 billion. Hyperloop's next destination could be Indonesia. Indonesia could be the next country and perhaps the first in Southeast Asia to test a Hyperloop rapid transport system. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has announced a 2.5 million US dollar feasibility study for three possible routes including at least one to service Jakarta, which suffers extreme traffic congestion. A Hyperloop works by propelling a magnetically levitating passenger or cargo capsule through a depressurized tube. The low friction could enable it to exceed jetliner speeds. Hyperloop technology is perfectly suited to Indonesia, a country with a high population density but underdeveloped transport infrastructure. The Hyperloop's capsule vehicle would accelerate to cruising speeds using a linear electrical motor, and the near vacuum tubes would enable traveling as fast as 760 miles per hour. The company says travel time on the 560-mile route between Jakarta and Yogyakarta could be slashed to 25 minutes. 
The frictionless motion enabled by magnetic levitation or air bearings would provide an exceptionally smooth ride, leaving passengers refreshed rather than exhausted by what might otherwise have been a long drive. The feasibility study will examine routes first in Sumatra, then Jakarta, and then other parts of Java. U.S. and Mexican officials met on Thursday to plan the construction of a high-speed rail that will connect the two countries by 2018. The high-speed rail will run between San Antonio, Texas and Monterey, Mexico. This 300-mile trip typically takes five hours by car. Passengers will be able to go through pre-clearance and customs checks so the train wouldn't need to stop at the border. The train will depart San Antonio, pass through the U.S. border city of Loreto, and arrive in Monterey in less than two hours. In Mexico, the project has been granted funding from the federal government to the state of Nuevo Leon. The U.S., however, is still in the study phase of the project. China will begin operating a high-speed rail service to the North Korean border in 2015. The line has been under construction since 2010. It will run 207 kilometers from Shenyang to Dandong at the North Korean border. Two other high-speed trains, one running from Dalian to Dandong and the other from Jilin to the border city of Huanchun, are also expected to start operating between 2015 and 2016. A high-speed train from Beijing to Dandong, also under development, is expected to shorten the current 13-hour journey to four hours. China is pushing to develop its special economic zones in North Korea. To strengthen economic ties between the two countries, China built a bridge across the Yalu River from Dandong into North Korea. 80% of trade between China and North Korea passes through Dandong.